Oh! Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's Nikki and Richie, and today we have a reaction request from John Panu8 on Instagram. And the reaction request is South India 101 Banana Leaf by Put Chutney. Alright, so we're gonna look at it right now. Eating on a banana leaf is an experience. The term yelling stuff on a Tamil is reminiscent of a bygone era of good times and good food. support combine harmoniously to give you a comprehensive emotional experience. Mm. <laughs> I feel like the way he's so passionate about it. It's unapologetically traditional. 100% natural, fully recyclable, easy to use and easy to dispose. Mm. The banana leaf is remarkably recyclable. After use, the leaf is fed to the cow, which is digested and produced potent manure, which in turn is used to cultivate the banana trees from where the banana leaves are procured. Recycle The leaf has a symmetrical bifurcation that is enabled by a spine-like structure right in the middle. The tensile strength of the fiber makes it a material that doesn't tear easily. <laughs> <laughs> Before the state of the art South Indian sapphire is served on the leaf, there are some intermediate but very important steps <laughs> of the leaf to place in travel. If you succeed in this, the next step is to clean the leaf with what is called the South Indian slate of fan. Sprinkle white and sweet. Oh, white and sweet. Side dishes and sweet are placed on the upper side of the serving side. Oh. Do you know why the sweet is placed on the top right corner of the banana leaf? <laughs> <laughs> you know. There could be many reasons, but each dish is ergonomically placed for easy reach and oh. ease of use. Even change one room, but the man and panil butter masala can be served at this stage. But it will ruin the impeccable yellow sapphire experience. The core element which binds all these dishes into a meal is rice. For beginners, we suggest that <laughs> With geometry, trigonometry, and elementary mathematics, the heap of rice is shaped, separated, and rationed for different segments of the sapphire. Some people oh. use a fork and a spoon. But who needs that? We have a fork, spoon, and a knife all built into one device. We were born with 10 of them, our fingers. The holistic experience is got by using your hand to eat. The touch and feel not just helps you gauge the temperature and the texture of the food, but also augments the topping process. In this demo, we start with the ghee and sambar. Sambar, if you are from the other side of the Vinyas. A hole of a pre-calculated diameter is made to accommodate the optimally required amount of sambar. The next step is to have the rasam sura. Now the fluidity rasam. and viscosity of rasam is different. So if you don't eat carefully, you might be good without This should be handled with the agility and mind as steady as that of a martial artist. <laughs> <laughs> one hand should be placed parallel to the leaf and the other one perpendicular to the leaf. And in one swift motion. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Techniques. Throughout this process, please check for the various side dishes you have and don't forget to ask for refill of these items. This can be done by the ancient, tested, and proven method called Pakatiyave <laughs> Kipayasan. Quickly. 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 Quickly.
a banana leaf. It's not hard guys. Just go find a banana tree, peel off a leaf, you could cut it in half, you could leave the whole thing, or you could take a piece off like the end. It doesn't matter. Whatever portion food you're having, it works. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like, we've seen this in movies um, where they eat from the banana leaf and it's it's like really traditional because even in Jamaica we used to eat from the banana leaf like not we though yeah. yeah like back in the days they eat off a banana leaf I'm not sure if they use hands you know I'm, look I'm from the city maybe you should know you're from the yeah, country yeah I'm from the country <laughs> we had banana trees but we never used banana leaves for food and you never saw purposes. anyone using it and I never saw anyone using it like that either I guess it was like probably generations before then that use the banana leaf, yeah, but probably. I know that there's still some traditional foods in Jamaica, like for example the blue draws. <laughs> it's something called a blue draws, and they would bake, bake something in a banana leaf, and you eat it. Yeah, but apart from that though, like how they presented the put chutney channel, like how they presented the food on a banana leaf, I've never seen it presented like that. So yeah. you have an area where all of the the chutneys and the, the, the sweet dishes go and where the rice goes and what hand should be parallel to which one should be perpendicular and I'm like <laughs> wow like how do they come up with such a technique but I guess like over time they learn how to master this art of eating and I think it's very interesting the way how they say when you eat with your hands and you feel the temperature and you get to mix everything together and you enjoy that experience from hand to mouth because there are some foods though if you eat with a regular spoon it changes the taste and flavor of the food and i think in this way you get everything how it's supposed to be the way put put chutney presented the the presentation about the banana leaf it was so clever like the way he was just saying it and he he made it sound like it was just a a deep story yeah. oh my yeah. god yeah it's deeper than what we on the other side think like oh we do this all the yeah. time and you probably think that it's strange but let me give you the science of this <laughs> yeah. and it's very informative but it was really fun the way yeah. it came off i just love the way it was presented you know um i had a little laugh about it um very funny yeah i like it and especially that guy you know the, the older guy who was talking about the food the way he was just like 
Oh, <laughs> so heavenly. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why this channel is called Put Chutney. It's the first time that we've come across it, and I want to thank John Fanu 8 for introducing us to Put Chutney. Um, but when I think about the name Put Chutney, it reminds me of when the guy wanted more rice. More rice? So it's like, put more chutney, more chutney, put more, put more. I don't know, maybe that's where it's coming from. I have no idea. The last part, the dessert, where the guy, he um, he smashed, it looks like a cracker. Yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I've had it before. Papad. Yes, papad. I think that's what it's called, right? I think. Yeah, but it smashed and then he mixed everything and then swooped it. It, it, I've never had it like the that. The way he souped it though, he's like... <laughs> yeah, real quick. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> like whip it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we enjoy eating with our hands. Yeah, I love eating with my hands. I don't know yeah. about you. Yeah, yeah, and whenever I have Indian food, I try to go with my hands and not with like forks <laughs> or spoons because I don't want the flavor to change or the taste to change. So mm. that's what I try to do. But I don't think I have the techniques down by just watching this video. I know I don't have it because what I do is I normally get naan or roti and I just cover the meat and I take it up and I eat it. So yeah. I, I don't think yeah, I have I, I the, the same technique. Thing. Yeah, I don't. yeah. So now I know next time I need to try this. But I think it's kind of different if you're using rice. Mm. Yeah, because the rice of the sambar. You've, ever, you've never had sambar. No. I've had sambar before. Um, yeah, but to have something that runny with rice and to swoop like that i don't think i can do it <laughs> i think you'd have to form your hand in a, yeah, it in was a like scoop <laughs> and just scoop it up yeah yeah wow what? oh <laughs> <laughs> but after eating with your hands with like runny food then your hands are so messy you know yeah, sometimes but I, I don't think too. to them it's gonna be like ew it's like the norm like in the Indian culture, no, I think normally what they do, they have like a vessel with water. After they finish eating, they just the, wash their hands inside. That, That's what I make see. A lot of sense. Yes, we had fun watching this video. We learned a lot about banana leaf. Yes. Yes, yes it's cheap. It is natural. It can be eaten on. It is recyclable. It is portable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I'll always see banana leaf differently now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I hope we get the experience one day to eat, you know, on the banana leaf, just like a, a thali. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see what that is like. So yeah, guys, that was the end of our reaction video. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye. Bye.